Modern Warfare 3 is here and we are excited to get grinding, but there is one thing that is confusing all of us in the community and that is the perk system, particularly the vests. How do they work? What do they do? And what perks do they give you? Well, I'm glad you asked. Check it out. You have your vest, gloves, boots, and gear. They all work just like the old school perks, but they're put in a different package and put into gear that you would actually wear in combat. So there are six and they are in multiplayer only. So they do not exist in zombies. You have the infantry vest, engineer, gunner, demolition, CCT comms, and overkill. So for the infantry vest, Equipment slots three, tactical, lethal, and feel upgrade. And then you also get gloves, boots, and gears. So this is just your standard vanilla vest. Increases tax sprint duration and reduces refresh time. Um, duplicate effects do not stack. So basically if you run the runner boots to also get longer and faster sprinting, they don't work together. You gotta pick one or the other. So infantry vest is your standard. You have a tactical, a lethal field upgrade, and you also get gloves, boots, and gear. So just get one of everything, basically. This is your typical Modern Warfare Call of Duty setup. Now, engineering vest, equipment slots three. So two tactical field upgrade, but you lose the lethal. And for gear slots, you get four of them. So you basically sacrifice your lethal for one extra piece of gear. And we'll talk about what gear is. That has to do with different perks. Uh, counter equipment and explosives expertise, spot enemy equipment, field upgrades and kill streaks through walls, aim down sights, highlights them for the team, faster field upgrade recharge. So these are very useful if you're actually playing as a team and even more so if you're playing modes like search and destroy where you can locate equipment which also helps you locate where enemies are or the flow of where they may be headed. Well, the gunner vest, weapon and ammo focus kit, deploy with max ammo, improved reload speed, Duplicate effects do not stack, same thing. So notice on this one you get three equipment slots, but then four gear slots. This one you're getting three, two primary weapons, so it's overkill. Tactical lethal, field upgrade, secondary weapon slot removed. And then your gear slots, you're only getting gloves and gear, so no boots are available with this one. So if you want overkill, you automatically lose boots. So if you're running overkill, by default, you cannot have covert sneakers, therefore you cannot be silent when you're running around. So you gotta choose between the two, that's good. Demolition vest, lethal and tactile mastery, resupply lethal and tactical equipment every 25 seconds so this is just your standard resupply perk still get a tactical but you get two lethals and a field upgrade and can still do gloves boots and gear so this is a pretty balanced one the main thing you're going to gain here is resupply which can be very effective if you actually manage to stay alive for longer periods of time if you're really bad and just die instantly resupply is not going to help you but having two lethals is great um, especially with the new breacher drones those things are pretty nasty. If you have two of them and they're getting resupplied, could be a could be a winner. Next is your CCT comms vest. The team intelligence resource increases duration enemies stay on your radar and zooms out radar for you and nearby allies. So instead of the mini map being closer, it's now further up. Similar to the bird's eye perk in Warzone, enemies you kill drop intel packs, which generates a radar ping for you and nearby allies when collected. Duplicate effects do not stack, as always. So this is interesting because. It zooms out for you and the team. So you're all gonna have a broader radar, a broader mini map, which is gonna help immensely. But then every time you walk over someone that you eliminated, you get a radar ping for you and nearby allies. So if someone puts this on, you could have a lot of information coming through on the map. The big disadvantage is you lose your tactical and lethals. You still keep your field upgrade, but you get gloves, boots, and two times gear. So you're getting a lot of perks. You could still do covert sneakers on this. With covert sneakers or something like that, a silencer and constantly knowing where the enemies are, this could be a really, really good meta for multiplayer. We'll see. And then the overkill vest. Wait, wait, so why is this called the overkill vest when the gunner vest gives you overkill? I guess they're just changing the name on that. That's really confusing. Um, traditionally, overkill has always meant get two weapons in Call of Duty games. I mean, if it's called the gunner vest, I suppose it does make sense to have two primary weapons. But the overkill vest is all about weapon mobility, weapon swap speed, and reload while sprinting. Now you get tactical lethal, you, you lose the field upgrade is the big disadvantage on that. But your movement and your weapon mobility all increases quite dramatically. So this could be another good one if you're trying to run fast, maybe running more of a solo, not so much working with the team. This could still be really good. Still get your tactical and lethal. 
it's different. I don't know if there's any advantage to having it this way. Maybe we'll get some unique perk builds that we couldn't get in Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare, but we'll see as the game releases. There you go. That is everything Modern Warfare 3 has to say about the loadouts. I am so excited to be playing this. I will be live tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I will see you there.